it wasn't for tech, I, in fact, I, I wouldn't be an astronaut because uh, from here, I was able to do all the things that, that I could only dream of as a kid. Bernard Harris, first African-American to walk in space. Childhood dreams of space and exploring the unknown came true for Dr. Bernard Harris, who not only fulfilled his ambitions, but made history along the way as the first African-American to walk in space. When I was growing up, my main dream was to become an astronaut. You know, watching people like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, that was my inspiration to follow in their footsteps. As I got uh, closer to graduating from high school, then I looked at NASA and I found out that there were physicians who worked in the space program, and so it was a natural fit to put the two together. Although defining his lifelong aspirations might have come easily for Harris, it was getting to where he wanted to be that required a solid foundation. A foundation that was established at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. For me, tech provided uh, a nice atmosphere to grow. I came here right out of undergraduate school, uh, stepping into a new profession. I think the quality education that I got here was, was tremendous. The School of Medicine at Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center was just one of the many launching pads Harris would encounter throughout his life. After graduating, Harris landed a residency at the Mayo Clinic and was well on his way to achieving his goal of becoming an astronaut. To arrive at Johnson Space Center along with uh, 22 others, there were 23 of us in, in my class, out of 6,000 people who applied for the program, to be one of the few was wonderful for me. Harris went on to board multiple space flights, logging more than 438 hours in space. On Harris's second mission, he took yet another leap of faith as he exited the spacecraft and embarked on a spacewalk that would go down in the history books. Donning a 350-pound suit and opening up the airlock and walking out for the very first time where you have an unobstructed view of, of the Earth is just incredible. It is a God's eye view. As the first African American to walk in space, I was pretty proud to represent African Americans all across this country. After exploring the ends of the universe, Harris's feet have landed back on solid ground, using his experiences to help others through authoring books and establishing the Harris Foundation. As an astronaut, I had a uh, extraterrestrial mission to conduct experiments, uh, to do all those wonderful things that, that we do as astronauts. Uh, my new mission, my terrestrial mission, is to empower uh, individuals and uh, communities. The Harris Foundation has helped motivate and encourage future generations for more than a decade. Young people are taught that they too can achieve their goals at programs such as the ExxonMobil Bernard Harris Summer Science Camp, which has been held on the Texas Tech campus. A perfect location as it's the place that helped Harris realize one of his own ambitions. I think Texas Tech is the, the best university uh, in the state of Texas. I say this because uh, we have so much uh, to offer here. What better university could you think of? Harris is leaving behind a powerful legacy, not just in history or NASA record books, but in the hearts of countless children with dreams of their own. By passing on the lessons that made his dreams possible and made him a true leader. A great leader needs to have vision. A great leader needs to have passion. A great leader must be willing to uh, step out and risk everything to accomplish that dream. Dreams are power. Allow yourself to be taken in by that, by that dream, by that vision, by that passion and goal. And if you do, you will have no regrets. Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center. From here, it's possible.